Hi there, I'm Alexandru and welcome to the UX Recipe Show, the channel dedicated to the challenges and milestones of having a design career with focus on user experience. From apprentice to seniorship and even team management role, we will go through each ingredient that spices our design careers. So let's get started. This channel is inspired by my personal project, UX Recipe, a design process and estimation app, but more on that in another episode. The series will be structured for now in seasons, with each consisting around six episodes. This is the first season, the first episode, called The Pilot. Each episode will have the following format, appetizers, main course, and desserts. Appetizers consist of presenting news from the digital product or design world, the main course represents the topic for today's episode, while desserts represent tips and tricks that I learned recently or tools that I'm using. Let's dig in with some appetizers. All links are in the description below. AJ and Smart, the design sprint agency, recently did an interview with Julie Zhu, VP of product design at Facebook. I highly recommend you check it out, especially if you're following Julie's progress as a design manager at Facebook. Moreover, her book, The Making of a Manager, is top on my next reading list. Next up, Intercom's own product design team has published their own website, intercom.design. It's packed full of uh, case studies, way of working and insights you can uh, learn from. And finally, Gary Hussuit's uh, latest movie, Rams, the Theater Rams documentary, is available for DVD orders or digital format. If you enjoyed Objectified or Helmetica, you will surely love this experience. As a Kickstarter backer, I got an early uh, copy of the movie and I can say it's definitely a must view for every designer and not only. For the main course, I decided to go with something light. Let's talk about side projects, like this channel. Besides my 9 to 5 job, I usually can't stand still and I'm working on side projects like the UX recipe app, some smartwatch sketching templates, a design ebook and even this channel. And along the way I learned a few valuable lessons that I want to share with you. Here's the things I learned the hard way. Number one, have a roadmap in mind. It's easier to work on a side project if you know where you want to go with it. For example, for UX Recipe, I now pivoted towards a more learning experience for future designers. Number two, prototype or at least test early on for feedback and don't go invest all your resources into a, an idea at start. For example, take this channel. At first, it's going to be only one season with six episodes and based on the feedback that I receive, I'm going to decide how much or how I'm going to evolve it. Number three, it doesn't have to be a solo job. With the help of my friends, I gathered new feedback and learned new things. Don't try to be a lone wolf, try to find a pack. Number four, learn to promote. I don't believe in if you build it, they will come principle. Yes, you can build it, but will anyone see it? Bring them to your projects. Share, tweet, publish, distribute word of mouth, everything you have to do, just do it in order to get the project to your audience. For example, for the smartwatches templates, I published them on design communities and from there it just got lift off. Number five, patience is a virtue. Results will not come as fast as you've expected. You will have to be patient with the audience and with yourself. For instance, this might be my 14th recording and I'm still at episode 1. Number 6. Learn, measure and react. Your audience will give feedback and it's your duty to respond, to improve and to set up criteria for your success. For example, with UX Recipe, I got to interact with its users on Twitter, on Product Hunt and even at conferences and events. Moreover, I interacted with the competition and I learned new things from how they built their app and how I managed to build my app. Number seven, move forward when you're stuck. Yes, you will get stuck eventually, but it's important to record progress. 
take this channel for example. I started out with the identity, the YouTube settings, uh, the script, the recordings, the editing, the publishing. I was always on the move, never got stuck. And finally, there's no time like free time. As long as your projects stay in the free time zone, they will remain there. I have a full-time job and I decided to invest in my side projects only as a hobby. Therefore, I assume the slow pace and slow progress of any of my ideas as long as they stay in the free time. For instance, the last UX recipe app update was done two years ago. Now I'm back to the drawing board trying to figure it out based on my roadmap what I'm going to do next with the future versions. There's a lot more to talk about side projects and I'm eager to find out your thoughts and your experiences on your current side projects. Let me know in the comments below and let's start a new chat. And for the last part of the episode, as desserts, I chose to present some tools I use to help me get organized. First up, it's Evernote. I choose Evernote because uh, it's the digital equivalent of using a pen and paper or a sticky note. Either if I'm in a meeting or commuting, it's my go-to app when it comes up to taking quick notes. Next up, it's Wunderlist. I choose Wunderlist to organize my to-dos using folders and lists. Although Microsoft acquired the company, I'm glad they didn't shut it down because I use Wunderlist on a daily basis. And finally, if I'm in a meeting and I don't want to switch tabs in Google Chrome and I have to present a de demo, I use the Mindful extension created by Adrian Zambranon, designer at Google Assistant and Google Lens. It's practically a note-taking app inside your browser tab where you can add titles, subheadings, links and whatever you need for taking notes. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the first episode of the UX Recipe Show. You know the drill. Like, comment and subscribe. And I'm waiting for your feedback. Till next time.